Freedom isn't free, and neither is free two-day shipping. Sure, you can go on a shopping spree with just a click of the mouse, but before you swipe your finger through deals galore, think of the consequences. Whether it's a holiday or just a plain old Monday, the hub is here to tell you the dark truth behind free two-day shipping. But before we go there, Click on the red subscribe button for a never-ending stream of free videos from the hub. It's a deal with no strings attached. Whether we're looking for the perfect accent for the living room or we're desperately trying to find the last Turbo Man action figure in stock, we all resort to online shopping at one point or another. And with one out of five shoppers browsing while in the bathroom, for instance, it's just as easy to swipe through web deals as it is to flush a toilet. One of the bigger draws, inspiring 80% of American consumers to shop online, is the promise of free shipping. In fact, a survey by public relations firm Walker Sands found that 88% of the consumers questioned would be more likely to buy from a store that provided free free shipping over a friendly refund policy or same-day delivery. Although it seems like it would be a huge expense for major retailers, and it is, they don't have to pay a large staff to manage a physical store and restock the shelves. So these larger corporations might be able to afford a delivery service at an incredibly low price. Places like Nordstrom, Wayfair, and L.L. Bean have free shipping offers and just about every major apartment store is in on the act. Apple.com offers free two-day shipping on in-stock items, and Best Buy offers the same for orders totaling $35 and up. With these too-good-to-be-true deals provided by the big retailers, the smaller companies suffer. Since their profit margin is much less, they can't offer the same shipping deals and the competition pushes them closer to going out of business. It's the digital version of the Walmart effect, where major brands move into smaller markets and the mom-and-pop stores and homegrown businesses suffer. It's true, digital malls have made window shopping much easier online, but they still haven't figured out how to be fully transparent with us customers. Often, to cover the cost of shipping on their end, they'll operate with a reduced customer service department and make refunds incredibly difficult to get. And, once you amass the items in your order, the website will inform you that a purchase of just a few bucks more will guarantee you free shipping. And while you end up paying more than you planned to get that free two-day courier service, the environment takes a hit as well. Imagine the fuel spent since 2009, where U.S. Postal Service deliveries have increased by 65%, and since 2010, when UPS deliveries have increased by 260 million packages. While it's more healthy in terms of carbon emissions to keep you at home, swiping at your iPad rather than speeding to the store in your own car, two-day shipping requires more delivery trucks to take to the road. Additionally, certain high-end companies are starting to offer more returns or try-before-you-buy services, causing trucks to drive back and forth between your house and the warehouse. Thankfully, certain developments are being made to combat this. First, Wi-Fi traffic lights, so trucks receive advanced warning before the lights turn red. This allows truck drivers to spend less time idling at an intersection, and experts believe it ends up saving around 20% of fuel. There's also a new practice called truck platooning, allowing a fleet of delivery vehicles to communicate with each other and drive directly behind each other, moving in a line at the same speed. This would reduce wind resistance and, again, save on fuel. Amazon isn't only a river in South America, it's also the biggest company offering free two-day shipping today, and it spent $1.75 billion on shipping in the third quarter of 2016 alone. Obviously, it needs to make some sort of profit to survive so it doesn't go bankrupt from complimentary shipping. Is it evil? No. We'll just make one thing clear. The benefits of their Prime membership and the programs of other online retailers like it have a fair share of detractions. Yes, Prime goes above and beyond much of the competition by offering free same-day delivery and even one to two hour deliveries in certain standard items. There's access to eBooks and streaming for music, classic movies, and newer Amazon produced shows. But if you have all the supplies you need, you don't watch much TV, and you're happy with your library of paperbacks, then not even the free shipping would have much of an allure to you. And if you can wait for more than two days, free standard shipping with online carts worth $25 or more would be better for both you and your surroundings. So the next time you've shopped till you dropped online, consider the consequences. It may be tempting to spend that extra couple bucks on the faster delivery, but in most cases, the dark truth behind free two-day shipping outweighs the positive sales pitches. That's all for the hub. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around.